Hey everyone, Rich here from High Level How To. And in this secret features video, we're going to be looking at how you can create a dynamic URL to create a link in an internal notification direct to a contact. Let's dive right in. Let's say then that you have got a automation set up and here you see we've got a, a user notification. And so we're using the internal notification element, not the email element, which is going to uh, go direct to the actual end client, but this is for the user. And you can see here, they're getting notified in this standard workflow of a booking that has been made and all of those bookings. But what you'll notice is that there are no links here. So it's purely for information. Now, that might be okay for many circumstances, but there may be instances where you're setting something up and you need that user to be able to quickly access the contact, either to confirm an appointment or to take some other action. So often we just have it auto confirm, but if there is a need to confirm something, if the person is going to need to go into that contact, then they're going to have to look at the name, open up their platform and go in and do all of those kinds of things. Now, how can we make that easier? We can make that easier by making these a link that they can access directly, click on it, and it's going to open that contact. But it's not always obvious to see how to do it. So to figure this out, let's actually move over to a contact that we have got here, a dummy user that I've created. And if we click into the URL at the top, we can see that there is a certain pattern to how this URL exists for every single contact in high level. You've got either the high level URL or your custom domain, whatever that might be, V2 location. And then you'll see there is a code here, and that is the location ID. So this is going to be the same for every contact in this specific location. That isn't going to change. And then we see contacts detail, and we've got another code here. And this code here is actually just the contact ID for that contact. And we can access that contact ID as a custom field over on this side here. So if we take contact name here, in this instance, we can select this, grab this element of it here so that the contact ID uh, at the end, we're going to put in dynamically, take a copy of that part of the URL, come in here and click to create a link. And you see the text name to display is going to be a dynamic field. It's going to be the name. And we paste in here this element. And then we simply can type in contact.id and click save on that. And now this is going to create for us when it gets sent an actual clickable link. It's going to show the name of that contact, but it's also going to be a hyperlink. The user can click on that and it's going to open up that specific user page because it's going to replace the contact ID. At the end, it's going to be a quick way for them to dive straight into that contact, access that contact, do whatever they need to do. If they need to uh, click on to confirm or, or change an appointment, whatever your workflow is. So hopefully that helps you when creating links in internal notifications in particular, but it will work anywhere else that you need it to direct into that contact. If you found this video helpful, love it if you could give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. As ever, leave a comment down below if there are any other features that you'd like us to make a video about. And finally, if you're watching this video, but you haven't yet signed up to High Level, then there's a link in the description down below on the screen right now as well to two weeks worth of trial. If you're intrigued by High Level and you want to give this a go yourself, go to ghltrial.com and get started today.